Dear parents, children and my dear teachers, our Prime Minister has spoken of three advantages for India as democracy, demographic dividend and demand. By 2020, we will be the youngest country in the world with a large part of our citizens in their 30s, while other countries will be nursing aging populations. To take advantage of this tremendous, fortunate happenstance, we need to make sure our young population is competent, thinking and compassionate enough to take their place as world leaders. I see universal education as the cradle that will shape citizens to fulfill this prediction for India and use its advantage to lead the world. Competencies, skills and value-based education will create a citizenry that will be resilient, compassionate socially aware and active, ethically sound and self-actualized to fulfill all our aspirations. In the future, children will also need collaborative and communication skills for increased interaction with the world without loss of cultural identity and self. When in doubt, I hear the words of Maria Montessori, who said, Don't follow me, follow the child. What is the nature of the child? Observation, discovery, imagination, curiosity, activity, playful, fun-loving? If we go with the nature of the child, we go with the flow and it is easy to educate him or her. If we go against it, we are swimming against the tide. A child-centered education respects the potential, aptitude, and development of the child. Change is the only constant. Einstein was so right when he said, if you seek different results, don't keep repeating the same thing over and over. Is school a training ground for life or for the workplace? Are schools producing docile, obedient people or original thinking leaders? These are questions that engage my thoughts. We at Universal are making efforts to change the industrial model of education in schools which promotes standardized and undifferentiated learning meant to feed state machinery like robot like unthinking unquestioning people to do jobs we recognize that innovation is the key to excellence problem solving must be key to our thinking as teachers unless there is rigor to think independently and critically on issues that are both local and global, classic and contemporary, and the ability to discuss, reflect and opine, we cannot achieve excellence. These are not easy paths to follow. But if we are committed to excellence, we need to honestly abandon comfort zones and try to be the change we want to see. One ancient and one contemporary idea that strikes the same chord reverberates in my mind. Galileo once said, You cannot teach a man anything. You can only help him to find it within himself. And recently, Sadhguru of the Isha Foundation observed, Children don't listen to you. They observe you. We have an important responsibility. We hold the future in our hands. Ladies and gentlemen, you have a great day ahead. Let peace prevail. God bless India. Thank you very much. A very good morning to all our parents and our esteemed guests present here. We take great pleasure in welcoming you all on the 7th Annual Day Celebration of Universal High. I am Ruhi Sharki of Grade 8A and I am Pitambar Pancharya of Grade 8B and we have the proud privilege to present before you the annual report of the academic year 2014-15. At the outset, we would like to share the achievements of crossing the important milestone. The first ICSE patch secured 100% percent pass percentage. The school topper Yogesh Tripathi made us proud by achieving 97.2%. Out of 27 students who have appeared for the ICSE March 2014 exam, 
26 students have secured first division. Excellence in academics is the hallmark of any good institution and so do our school. Teachers and students are putting intensive effort for the forthcoming ICSC 2015 exam. To facilitate the future course of academics and career options, the school has conducted a comprehensive career guidance program for the students of grade 10. We wish them success and good luck for the best performance in ICSE exam and all future endeavours. At Universal High, our teachers follow an innovative and inspiring approach to early childhood education, which values the child as strong, capable and resilient rich with wonder and knowledge. Our school believes that every child brings with them deep curiosity and potential and this innate curiosity drives their interest to understand their world and their place within it. This year, our school has registered for the British Council International School Award Accreditation. This is a benchmarking scheme that accredits schools as having an outstanding level of support for nurturing global citizenship in young people and enriching teaching and learning. We have worked on eight curriculum based projects weaving through cultures, world platters, flora and fauna I see around. Wonders of the World, Endangered Species, Child Rights Enjoyed by Children in UK and India, Evergreen Rainforest, Kite Festivals Around the World. It created opportunities for getting connected to classrooms of different countries thereby fostering collaborative learning of different cultures, festivals, cuisines, handicrafts and awareness of global challenges. It created opportunities for learning at an international dimension to all subjects, fostered team building, innovation and project management. We have worked with great enthusiasm on these projects and we're very excited to collaborate with so many countries and an enriching experience of self-discovery learning. The annual exhibition was a great success. The science exhibition was focused on Agama, acquisition of knowledge on general science, Sasaveda, agricultural science, Udyogic, industrial science. We have made self-designed models under the able guidance of the science teachers who have lent their thoughtful mind and expertise to facilitate the learning program. It was a great exploratory experience, encouraged creative thinking and technological creativity to all participants. The Art and Craft exhibition displays had a wide range of impressive artworks. The exposure to various types of arts and crafts, creativity and imagination received strong stimulation. We developed our own individual craftsmanship interest, learned to choose various colors to communicate feelings and also learn about symbolic communication to the artwork. school, we experience social, emotional and behavioural well-being. As responsible citizens, we must learn to positively influence the people around us. So, a workshop on training of peer counsellors and leadership skills was conducted as an extension of the Life Skill Enrichment Programme. An interactive session for the pre-primary parents was also conducted with the panel of psychologists, pediatrician, academician and nutritionists. At Universal Beginnings, 
our teachers focus on the understanding of the brain development and the way the brain processes the information, reading and speech area, seeing, hearing, smell, motor area and language area are the different areas of the brain that promote learning. To reinforce themes, a plethora of special day celebrations had been done to make the learning experience of the tiny tots alive and meaningful. Creative decorations, dance, drama, speech, music, special assemblies, artistic talents cheermark the celebrations of special festivals at Universal High. With a multidimensional approach, our school believes in activity oriented curriculum that takes us on a voyage of learning beyond the four walls of the classroom. The environment is the third teacher. It encourages collaboration, communication and exploration. So, field trips to different places have been organized for different grade levels as an extension of the classroom learning. We have been sensitized about the local cleanliness in the classrooms and have also initiated the process of decentralized waste management as a part of Swachh Bharat Abhiyan. We the students of grade 6 to 9 have visited Mahabaleshwar as an educational tour during the Diwali vacation. It was a great experience spending holidays with friends and teachers. We take the pride in saying that a school not only educates but also provides opportunities where we are able to express our uniqueness and talents. This is achieved through a learning environment, teaching methods, resources provided for learning, which inspires learning with pleasure, culminating in everlasting holistic learning. It was a great experience participating in the Universal School Model United Nations at Universal High School, Ghat Kopa. Our fellow friends have got an exposure as great thinkers of tomorrow reflecting on global perspectives of social, political and economic issues and were able to reach a reasonable resolution to deal with the challenges as responsible global citizens. Being responsible citizens, we have wholeheartedly contributed in the donation drive. Food packets, clothes and toiletries have been given to Goonj, a non-governmental organization who worked actively for the Jammu and Kashmir relief operations. Thank you parents for contributing towards the Prime Minister's National Relief Fund. The English teacher ceremony was conducted after the student council election. Our principal addressed on important aspects of leadership skills, teamwork, accountability, mutual respect, integrity and empowerment. The colorful, vibrant winter carnival organized in a school was a grand event. We had a gala time with our friends and family. Countless games, endless options of lip smacking food, joy rides, magic show, pottery, and many more had spread a festive vibration of happiness all around. The Universal Beginners inaugurated their play gym with their parents, a fun place to develop their gross motor skills and eye hand coordination. Grandparents hold the hearts of the grandchildren forever. So our tiny tots of pre-primary section celebrated the Grandparents' Day with a lot of enthusiasm to express their love, care and warmth for their grandparents.
sports and performing arts activities give a boost to our self-esteem and self-worth. Field experience is an important learning environment. It is more than physical well-being. We are trained for music, band, athletics, football, cricket, basketball, yoga, karate, koko, and chess. Performing arts sessions are conducted by the professionally trained facilitators of Shamak Dawa education. We have hosted the first inter-school rapid chess tournament under the auspices of Thane District Chess Association. Students from all over Mumbai and Thane have participated in the league. The annual sports meet of our school is a unique experience. The vibrant displays demonstrating visual spatial intelligence, bodily kinesthetic intelligence, and musical rhythmic intelligence was spellbinding. The breathtaking relay races made the spectators enthralled. House emerged as the best house and the best March Pass prize was backed by the Air House. We have participated in various inter-school co-curricular competitions and sports events. Heartiest congratulations to my fellow friends for their outstanding performance. Our school events were covered by the media and related photographs of all the events have been uploaded on the school's Facebook page and the school website. We are now looking forward to the slumber party and graduation day of senior KG students who will receive their certificates with radiant smiles. The annual prize distribution will honor the merit holders as well as the winners in co-curricular activities. We take the opportunity to express our sincere gratitude to our CEO, Mr. Jesus S.M. Lal and our director, Ms. Pinky Pujara, for giving us an exemplary school. A sincere thanks to our principal, administrator, coordinators, and all teachers for their unstinted support and guidance. We wish to extend our heartfelt thanks to our dear parents for giving us a great schooling experience. May God bless us all to achieve many more milestones in the years to come. Hope you would like our today's program. Thank you and enjoy the show.